All right. Let me ask you one more question. You just gave us a list the other day of approved tax exempt applications for advocacy organizations through 2009 May. Um, we don't know how long these applications sat or, or how long it took to, uh, to process them. Just from Mr. Rango's questioning and from earlier to um, the IRS was doing this because they were concerned about political activities by nonprofits. That's the debate that seems to be taking place here. Some of these that were approved were Chattanooga Organized for Action, the Progressive Leadership Alliance, and um, the Progressive USA. If you were concerned about political activity, uh, did you have targeting lists that contain words like progressive or organizing in their names? So let me, um, let, let's step back again and let me walk you through the process. We centralized cases based on political activity evidenced in the file. We took a shortcut on some of it, but we collected, to be blunt, more than Tea Party cases. Mr. George's so, own report. So there, there were no progressive or organizing buzz words that were used for targeting. Is that correct? That's correct. We collected right. more people because any time it was seen that political activity right. was part Thank of the you. file, it went into time has expired. Mr. McDermott's recognized.